Hey everybody, we're here in another exciting installment of Patrick's journey to 2000 on chess.com. I'm currently traveling for work, so I am recording this from my hotel room here in cold uh, Bellevue, Washington, where I am visiting a prospective customer hoping to uh, get a deal done here. Um, I think I'm still on a little bit of a winning streak, although the last two games, I have to admit, have been very lucky. Two games ago, I won purely on my opponent uh, losing a connection. <laughs> Nothing to uh, brag about. And then uh, yesterday's game, I won by a checkmate that I got lucky that they blundered there at the end. Um, there really was no reason for them to let me checkmate them. Uh, they played really well um, up to that point, but I got lucky that I, I was able to capitalize on that. So with that said, uh, I am rated a 1434 now and let's see who I'm playing today. Faisal, 10K Hormi. Or Faisal, 10 Hormi. Never know sometimes. Gonna do the Karo Khan per usual. If I move here and they take, we take, it's isolated queen's pawn. So maybe I will develop my knight. And if they take, maybe I take here. here now since I'm being attacked by the knight. Oh, my opponent's rate of 1526. I'm going to move my knight here. It's also defended by this one. Expect them to castle here shortly. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, and they've got this uh, pawn that they're now targeting. Let's see. If I push this, they take, and then I come here, they would retreat. this and then they retreat and then I bring this guy out okay this probably is not what I should be doing but at least it's gonna allow me to castle down a pawn, but they have an isolated queen pawn, which 
which they're probably thinking about coming down with this move. So I don't want to be able to do this or else they'd... So I'm going to go ahead and move this here. Yeah. So that I can do this. They're probably gonna move it somewhere. The question is where? Question is where? So we're on move 17 and we haven't, I haven't, use as much time as they usually do. So I might spend some time here thinking this one through. If I do this, it begs this exchange. But it also leaves for an attacker on this file. If I come here, it's all about attacking two pieces at once. So if I come queen to d5, attacking the knight and then also attacking this pawn. See what happens when I do that. There's no fork possibility because the square is defended, but now it's not defended nearly as much as it used to be. But if I take this, it is defended twice. So is this a free pawn? No, because of this. Then I take this pawn, I take my knight, but then I take the rook. So we do this and they bring this over though. That can get weird. If it takes, then takes, yeah. Um, Let's see what they do after this. They might take with check, I take back, recapture, but then I get the, the bishop. They might take an exchange. Attacking this pawn. This adds a, another attacker here. And then I'd be able to take that pawn after this is on a better square. I think this is a better square for this guy. Because it's also defending this, this one. We'll see. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. 
Coming in hot with the, uh, with the pawn move there. Let's go ahead and take this pawn first. This, they take, and I take this pawn. Ooh, wait a second. There's a discovered check here. Uh, but my pawn is there to recapture. So if I take, they come in check. Did I get myself into some trouble here? structures looking. I'm up a pawn. They're all connected though. So it looks like we're gonna take here. Kick that knight around. See if I can throw in some checks here. Check this. Check this or this. Come up here. Pause. I think I'm gonna move my king so that it can't do back rank shenanigans. 
Uh, they're gonna fork me if I do that. And that needs to be defeated. <clears throat> I got two minutes left. This person is moving very, very quickly. Um, I'm gonna do a clean exchange here. Oh! Now it's even on the pawns. Don't mess up, Patrick. time it's getting crazy This fork wins me this pawn, unless the king moves over there. Never mind. But I think I can get there. You have 41 seconds. I think I might win this pawn. 
They go here, I go here, and I win it. They try to go for my pawn here. I just go here. seconds left. Oh, jeez. What is this coming down to? So there's no way where the king can come over there to take that pawn. So that pawn's gonna be safe. Whew. Now it's just a matter of
Jeez, I don't like this. Oh, I want, oh. The time. Wow. Good game. Bye, so. Is there a way to add like a, a ticker to the time? So it notifies you of like each second. I know it notifies you after the one minute, but. Let's check out the analysis. Man, I almost beat a 1524 though. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> I played with 74% accuracy, three misses, six mistakes. Whoa. Carol Khan opening. Pretty standard. I should not have brought my queen out that early. Um, they did kind of punish me for it, getting a pretty decent lead in the beginning. Um, yeah, I did not. Let's see, instead of doing that, I should have. Uh, Taken with the knight. I could have taken there and then after recapturing, broken up their pawn structure. Or after taking, I could have taken that pawn. But I did go through the opening quickly. So like I had plenty of time, but this was uh, a, mis a mistake. And that was a mistake. And there was a miss. And I, when I made this move, I was anticipating them taking that because I would just recapture and still keep my um, rook defended. Oh my goodness, what they sh I don't even need the, the button for this one. They could have just taken here because of the pin. Ho, oh. oh. ho, ho, ho. Wow. All right, not my finest opening, but it turns out after that, I made a series of good moves that uh, even the playing field. So right here, there's it's relatively even. White gains a little bit back, but after these, uh, in this position, it's dead even. I do the a miss here, I should have taken the pawn. Yep, should have taken the pawn. There's mistake there. I take the pawn, which was the best move. We do the exchange, which was good moves. They move the rook over. I make a great move or a excellent move. Um, this mistake. Oh yeah, doubled up on this file. I'm up a pawn at this point. Queen very central in the board. So this mistake, I was either thinking that or this. That would have been a good move. Best move is to push that pawn. So excellent move, good move, best move. Oh, that was the best move, wow. Um, and then after this, I do the great move so that I can exchange the, oh, this idea of exchanging the queens was the was two great moves back to back. And they take, which is the best move, best move, and then it gets my king engaged early to allow them me to corner off the king up there and then try and make my way over to that pawn, which they finally allowed me to do. Well, that was a mistake. What should I have done instead? Ah.
games need work. <laughs> this mistake evened it out. They missed it. They could have gone here, trapped my king, move uh, to here. And then that's a miss. I missed that. Best move. Best move. Mistake there. Oh, this move would have required the king to move here if they wanted to move it. By doing that, I get this escape square for the king and I can push. Yeah. It was right there, but 20 seconds on the clock, I uh, there's a reason why I was missing. If I had enough time to really think, I could have. So with that mistake, I take, which was the best move, they take, and then it's just a matter of getting rid of these uh, pawns, which I do, and great move, and I'm winning until I run out of time. At this point, I should have, wait, let's see. Instead of that, instead of this move, I should have pushed. No, oh wait, they go king, king d3, yeah. But then I go h. This? No, of course not. Where is this hanging? Oh my gosh. Did I really just lose that? I lost the game because I didn't capture the knight. <laughs> and then there'd be, I would have gained so much time. Wow, you're literally, literally one second away from winning this game against a 15-26, 15-20, yeah. Oh, oh well. Until next time.